Good morning, students. Up to last lecture, we have studied about proton and neutron. Okay. Actually, we are trying to study about the atom structure of atom and parts of atom. Okay. Up to last lecture, we have studied that atom is made up of nuclear part and extra nuclear part. Okay. If we divide atom into two different groups, then we have to divide that. One is nuclear part is there, and one extra nuclear part is there. Okay. So in nuclear part, we are studying there are proton and neutron, which are the constituent of nuclear part. Okay. Nuclear part is made up of this proton and neutrons. And now today we have to study that is the extra nuclear part. Okay. So we know suppose this is structure of atom. Okay, we call this is a nucleus. Okay, so this is the nuclear part. Okay, nucleus means nuclear part. So except nuclear part. Okay, whatever we see here. Okay, so we know outside the nucleus what are there? So the electrons are revolve around that nucleus is there. Okay, so. So the electrons are revolve around the nucleus. So that electrons are there, okay? And the space between. Look at the space between atom. Sorry, nucleus and the shell of electron. Okay? That much part include in the extra nuclear part. Okay? Which first of all all the electron which are present outside the nucleus. Okay? They are revolve around the nucleus in particular shells. Okay, so in extra nuclear part, all those electron which revolve around the nucleus and the space between nucleus and shells, that much part is include in the extra nuclear part. What electrons and space between nucleus and shells okay that much part is included in the extra nuclear part okay okay extra means what outside okay the part of atom which is present outside the nucleus that is simply extra nuclear part okay so first of all we have to see electron okay that is the main constituent of extra nuclear part okay we know atom is made up of from three elementary particles okay proton neutron and electrons in from the proton and neutron are present inside the nucleus okay proton and neutron are inside the nucleus so only electron remaining and that electrons are revolving around the nucleus in particular shells okay so we have to see electrons electron is denoted by this sign this notation there is a small e and negative sign over there on the head of this small e okay this is the sign of electron okay so first of all we have to see what is the charge on electron okay so yesterday we studied the charge on proton is 1e plus 1e so now we know because proton is positively charged here electron we have negative charge okay so charge on one electron is minus 1e that much charge is present on each electron okay so minus 1e e is a charge on each electron that you need to remember proton have plus 1e e, electron has minus 1e e, okay equal and e opposite charges are there in between proton and neutron okay that is what atom is electrically neutral because proton number and electron number are same in an atom okay so you have to remember charge on each electron is minus 1e okay next is what is about the mass of electron okay we are made one statement in the some previous lecture that 
whole mass of an atom is situated inside the nucleus so nucleus is actually very very small okay so in the nucleus we know proton and neutrons are there okay so generally if we make a statement that 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 is the mass of an atom is situated inside the nucleus so we can simply use logic that and we can identify that whatever the mass that atom has that is only due to the proton and neutron electron mass is negligible very very small okay if you see the mass of electron is 1800 times less than hydrogen atom hydrogen atom okay mass of electron is 1800 times less than the hydrogen atom so mass of electron is very very less as compared to the mass of proton and mass of neutron so we consider mass of electron is negligible negligible means very very small we don't have to consider that okay as compared to the proton and neutrons but a proton and neutron has nearly equal masses okay and all proton and neutron are situated inside the nucleus that is why we say all mass of an atom is situated inside the nucleus okay so that thing also you have to remember mass of electron is negligible means very very small okay so where this electrons are live now okay we know electrons are present inside the atom but what are the actually locations of the electrons okay so if we see structure of atom then we are see here all the electron present inside this atom which are situated in some circular path here okay so they are not moving here and there okay they are not in random motion but actually they are follow a strictly one path okay they are move in that circular lines that are present outside the nucleus okay and <coughs> that circular path is a simply called as a say what say so all electrons are revolve around the nucleus in particular shell okay because each shell has its fixed energy okay so the electron are present inside that shell has that much energy okay so all these shells have different different energies okay how that we see later but you have to remember that only this thing electrons are revolve around the nucleus in particular shells okay next that is the we know number of proton and number of electron in an atom are equal if we see the number of protons and number of electrons present in an atom then that number is always same okay so that is why whatever the positive charge that atom has suppose this atom has 10 protons okay and 10 electrons it means that it has one proton has plus e charge means it has 10 e charge and this 10 electron one electron has minus 1 e charge that is the minus 10 e charge so plus 10 e minus 10 e will become zero so overall charge present on an atom is always zero that is atom is always electrically neutral okay so these all things you have to remember about the electrons okay first of all electrons are what that are the negatively charged elementary particle each electron has minus 1 e that much charge okay then mass of electron is negligible <coughs> if you compare the mass of electron with the hydrogen atom in the hydrogen atom what happen only one proton is there okay so if we simply compare the mass of one electron 
with the proton then we will see that it is 1800 times less than the mass of proton okay so it is very less that is why we consider mass of electron is negligible so next is it revolves around the nucleus in particular shells okay what are the location of electrons we know proton and neutron are inside the nucleus so remaining all electrons are revolve around the nucleus in particular shells look at that they are not revolve randomly okay but they are follow one certain systematic path okay and that path are nothing but the circular path okay so such a way that all electrons are revolve around the nucleus in circular path okay then number of proton and electrons are equal in an atom that is why atom is remain electrically neutral okay so that is about the electron okay that much part about electron we have to remember look at that we have studied about the three basic elementary particle which are what first of all proton neutron and electron okay so in among them proton and neutron okay proton and neutron they are situated inside the nucleus okay that you have to remember among them electrons revolve around the nucleus okay electrons are revolve around the nucleus in particular shells okay they follow some what certain rule according to that they are revolve around the nucleus in each and every atom that you have to remember proton and neutron are situated inside the nucleus where electrons are revolve around the nucleus okay so that much part you have to remember which is important so the next topic we have to see now so now next topic we have to see that is atomic number and mass number of an element so first of all we have to see what is atomic number so atomic number is nothing but the we are yesterday i i told you that is atomic number is what that is the number of protons present in the nucleus it is simply called as a atomic number of an element or number of protons present in the nucleus is nothing but the atomic number of that particular element okay so next is mass number mass number of any element is what that is the addition of number of proton and number of neutrons we know proton and neutrons are situated inside the nucleus so mass number is the number of proton plus number of neutron is simply called as a mass number so here atomic number is denoted by letter z okay that you have to remember what atomic number is nothing but the number of protons present inside the nucleus and which is denoted by letter z okay then what is mass number that you have to see mass number is nothing but the addition of number of protons and number of neutrons that are present inside the nucleus so mass number is denoted by letter a okay so z is a notation for atomic number and a is a notation for mass number okay so element are generally represent by x okay any element for example so generally this notations are generally used to denote atomic and mass number where x is any element okay x is any element then 
this here is its atomic number and a is its mass number okay so such a way that we can represent any element x z a okay in the downward side we have to write its atomic number and upward side we have to write its mass number that is denoted by letter capital a okay now suppose we have to see example of carbon okay so suppose we know carbon is a element we have to write its atomic and mass number such a way okay so <coughs> we know here z is what number of protons we know atomic number of carbon is 6 okay so simply in z means what atomic number so here downward side we have to write atomic number of carbon that is how much 6 okay then what next is the mass number of carbon then how we can write mass number of carbon we know what in an atom what happen proton and neutrons are present inside the nucleus number of protons and number of neutrons are equal in number inside the nucleus what number of protons are equal to number of neutrons their number is always equal inside the nucleus so mass atomic number is 6 atomic number of carbon is how much 6 atomic number is nothing but what number of protons inside the carbon atom are how much 6 and we know number of protons and number of neutrons are equal if 6 protons are inside the nucleus then 6 neutrons are also there inside the carbon nucleus so what is the mass number of carbon so mass number of carbon is number of protons that is how much 6 plus number of neutron number of neutron inside the carbon is how much again equal to number of proton that is the 6 so number of proton plus number of neutron is how much 12 so so mass number of carbon is how much 12 so such a way that we can represent any element with here downward side we have to write their atomic number and here upward side we have to write their mass number okay so such a way that we can represent any element okay any given element first of all for that you have to remember actually what is atomic number so atomic number is what the number of protons present inside the nucleus which is given by letter z which is represented by letter z and mass number mass number is nothing but the no addition of no number of protons and number of neutrons their addition is a simply called as a mass number so one thing you have to remember that number of protons and number of neutrons are also equal inside the nucleus so addition of proton and neutron is nothing but the mass number and only number of protons are nothing but the atomic number so such a way that what the representation of any element with their atomic and mass number we can write such a way okay x a z is a common notation is used okay x is a any element a is a mass number and z is a atomic number so actually you have to remember that this downward side we have to write atomic number and this upward side we have to write mass number of an any element okay so such a way that we can represent any element with their atomic and mass number okay so number of atomic number is number of protons and mass number is what number of proton plus number of neutron 
एटॉमिक नंबर रिप्रेजेंट बाय जेड एंड मास नंबर रिप्रेजेंट बाय कैपिटल ए ओके सो सच वे दैट वी कैन रिप्रेजेंट एनी एलिमेंट विद द एटॉमिक एंड मास नंबर ओके सो रिमेंबर दैट टू टर्म व्हिच आर इंपॉर्टेंट इन द एटॉमिक नंबर वी हैव टू कंसीडर ओनली नंबर ऑफ प्रोटॉन्स एंड इन मास नंबर we have to consider addition of proton and neutron okay so the remaining part of this chapter we will see in next lecture thank you